I'm sure by now some of you have heard of this Deagle.com uh, 2025 population forecast. I'll put a link to this page right here. And then it says view year 2025 forecast. If you click on that, it'll take you to another page uh, with all the countries listed as such. So you have, uh, this is again sorted by population. So one point. 37 billion people <clears throat> um, would be the 2025 forecast, and then 1.35 billion is the current population, as of 2013 population. So you can check out all these countries um, based on what their current population is on the bottom and the projected population on the top. If you look at Nigeria, for example, it's in red because it goes down by 17 million people. So I'm a visual person. So I took all of this data, threw it into a spreadsheet, uh, organized it, fiddled with it, and then started to chart it. So I'm going to show you um, four different sets of data here that I charted out based on the Deagle 2025 forecast. So this is net population growth. So you can see India is incredible. 140 million people are projected to grow in India, or the population is projected to grow from what it is currently. Um, and then the rest of the countries here, you might have to full screen it. It's Bangladesh, Brazil, Indonesia, China, Pakistan, Turkey, Mexico, Vietnam, Iran, Ethiopia, Colombia, Uganda, Sweden, I'm oh, sorry, Sudan, Argentina, Burma. Okay, so I re uh, I rescaled the y-axis, so India is off the chart, and you can see the new high is 25 million, so it gives you better visualization. So India, Bangladesh, Brazil, Indonesia, China, Pakistan, Turkey, Mexico, Vietnam, Iran, Ethiopia, Colombia, Uganda, Sudan, Argentina, and Burma. No European countries there, mostly Asian. Mostly Asian, a couple South American, a couple African. And now this is the net population loss. So again, you can see 250 million there, or about, is the United States. So these are the countries that lose population. So you can see, again, how what a, kind of an outlier the United States is, just like India was on the positive side. So again, I rescaled the y-axis just to make it easier to see the rest of the country. So you got gold, U.S. of A., United Kingdom, France, Spain, Italy, Nigeria, Australia, Russia, Greece, the Netherlands, Canada, Sweden, Taiwan, Switzerland, Tanzania, and the Philippines. That's pretty much the Allied powers. The U.S., U.K., France, Spain, Italy, Australia, and you got Russia there, I guess it would be. No, they were Allied. Canada, Sweden, <laughs> Switzerland stays out of everything. But you get the idea. Most of the European countries, um, yeah, so these are the population losses. So this is a little different. <clears throat> these are the top 17 countries, I think 16 or 17, based on the current population. So you can see Brazil, even though it's only gaining 20 million people, relative to the current population, that 20 million gain is actually the highest percentage gain. And again, I rescaled it once again because India is just off the charts. So you got Brazil, Turkey, Costa Rica, uh, Kyrgyzstan. Can't read that one. Kiribati, Swaziland, Uganda, Paraguay, Bosnia-Herzegovina, India, Dominican Republic, Zimbabwe, Aruba, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Burundi, and Mongolia. Again, this is based on percentage gains. So I think Brazil was about 13%. Their 2025 projected population is about 13% over their current population. So they were first. And again, these are the losses based on percentages. So again, you could see the United States is actually number one in this, unlike India, which was not number one in both. So again, it's rescaled here. So you have the U.S., Greece, Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, United Arab Emirates, 
Luxembourg, United Kingdom, Australia, Netherlands, Spain, Ireland, Israel, Qatar, and Portugal. So again, these are the losses, percentage, the losses uh, based on the percentage of current population. So the United States is going to lose uh, about 78% of their current population. Greece is going to lose about, uh, I think it was like 60. I don't have the numbers in front of me. It was like somewhere in the 60s, I believe, percent of their current population. And then down the list you go. So there you go. Um, like I said, I'm a visual person, so it helps me to see this in, in chart form. Um, I hope, hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching. One last thing, I'm going to leave with the the text note that Deagle provided as to how they came up with their 2025 projection. I'm not going to read this. If you want to read it yourself, just pause it. There's four slides um, and, you know, read it at your leisure. But this is what they say. Or you can check it on the link um, that I gave you. It's at the bottom of the page on that, that link there. So, again, thanks for watching.